So you see in this problem, we are given two forces, F1 and F2. And we have to find the magnitude of the resultant force and also its direction angle. So basically, we can split the forces into its perpendicular components. Because you see, in order to find the magnitude, we have to find the forces in the x direction and also in the y direction. And in the free body diagram, you observe that 45 degree angle is making it y axis. So in case of the forces in x direction, we use the sine component. And in case of the forces in y direction, we use the cos component. And 30 degree angle is making with x axis. So we use cos component uh, when we are solving the forces in x direction and sign component in case of the forces in y direction. So first, if we take the forces in the x direction, so we get 200 Newton force multiplied sine 45 degree. And we get negative 150 Newton force with force 30 degree. Because you see that this force is moving in the negative x direction. So we get 11.518 Newton force. And in case of the forces in y direction, we have 200 force 45 degree plus 150 sine 30 degree. And we get 216.42 Newton. Now we can find the magnitude of a certain force, which is about 217 Newton. And in case of the angle, we use the 10 component. So basically, uh, we have 10 inverse uh, Fy over Fx. And when we solve distance, so we get 87 degree angle. 